the most important politics for people is local politics. So it's really important to know your, you know, your school board members, your, your um, council members, your mayors, that, that kind of thing. And people um, should be really aware, if not aware about the national politics, their local politics. And highlighting grassroots organizations, people who are in the community, I think will get people's attention. When you know, you know, if you see a news article and it's highlighting somebody that was just at your house or just at your church or just, you know, at your community event, you ding, ding, ding into that, you know, because you're like, oh, I know that person. In 2016, Hillary Clinton was worth an estimated $22.5 million. Um, she and her husband Bill collectively around $45 million. Uh, the Republican candidate Donald Trump it's hard to get a grasp on how much he's actually worth, um, but it's estimated that he was worth $3 billion in 2016. You know, wearing a red trucker hat, um, going into a cafe if you're Hillary, these are things that are meant to connect you to, to the average voter, but these are not average candidates by any stretch of the imagination. So three years ago, this columnist, and I'm a columnist, uh, for the Pittsburgh paper wrote a column that said black people need to get over slavery. It wasn't that bad, and they were better off than had we had black people uh, stayed in Africa. And that let me know two things about this columnist, Jack Kelly. One is that he'd never <laughs> been to Africa. And two is that he didn't know any black people. But we have a columnist code because of the First Amendment, which I hold dear, and that's you can write anything you want, even if it's wrong. So I couldn't write a column saying Jack Kelly is an idiot. So what I decided to do was to write an essay about why slavery and the vestiges of it and the pain of it and the damage of it still persists.